Welcome back to Keep Calm and Bake. Today's episode is a real treat. We're going to be making a treacle tart. To start with, we're going to make uh, the pastry flour straight into the food processor bowl. Butter, cold unsalted butter going in. Now I'm putting a little tiny bit of salt, just a little pinch of salt in there. We're going to pulse this until it becomes fine breadcrumbs. I'm just going to add a little bit of water now to bring this all together. You can see it all coming together in big lumps. It's lumpy. Now, we can bring it together with our hands. I'm gonna form it into a ball. Just roll it up. You don't need to knead it or anything like that. Just make sure it's kind of into a firm uh, squidge. Now, wrap it up in some cling film or cling wrap, and then we're gonna leave it in the fridge to chill for about 30 minutes. This is now ready to roll. It's been chilling. So lightly flour your work surface. Now let's roll this out so that we can line our pie dish. It's always good to give it a few rolls and then you give it a quarter of a turn round. This stops it sticking to any work surface. Treacle tart is one of those British classics, really, that I grew up on. My dad, uh, my dad is English, and um, he used to he used to really enjoy cooking, and this was one of his favourite desserts. Pie dish at the ready. I always like to use the side of the rolling pin, so I get the pastry and I fold it onto the rolling pin, and then I lift it like this into my dish. You see, it kind of helps. There we go. Now just fold it down in there. I'm going to prick the base with a fork and this just helps to stop it from puffing up when it cooks. Now I'm going to trim the edges off. Now I've got a piece of greaseproof beef paper so I'm just going to lay in there. So I've got a whole bowl of beans and this just weighs down the pastry to stop it from rising up. So push it all to all the sides. And now we can pop this bit into the oven and leave this for about 10 minutes until you'll see that it's gone nice and golden. Now don't throw these scraps of pastry away. We're gonna use these to make a pretty pattern on top later. So I'm just gonna rewrap those, pop it back in the fridge for a while while we're not using it. While the pastry is baking in the oven, I'm going to make the filling. Now I've got breadcrumbs here in this big bowl. Now we have some extremely naughty golden syrup. That is a mighty amount of golden syrup going in. But this is why the treacle tart is so good. Okay. Now to break up all that sweetness, we're going to put some lemon zest. So the zest of this one, of one lemon going straight in. Now we're going to use the juice of the lemon. Now we just need two eggs as well. We crack two eggs in. Now we just mix everything together. Simple. I bet you didn't think it was this easy, did you? Right. This, oh, looking lovely. Now I'm going to take the beans off. And we're going to pop it back in the oven. Whoa. This just needs to go into the oven for like two minutes, just to lightly brown off the base. Now, all I'm going to do is pop the filling in inside the pastry case. Ooh, like so. Next, with the leftover pastry, I've just got it out of the fridge. We're just going to roll the bit of pastry out until it's nice and thin. Now, if you like what you're seeing, then please do subscribe for lots more delicious and yummy recipes. Now, what I'm gonna do is cut 
thin strips. Try and get them the same kind of width if you can. Just little thin bits. And then we're gonna layer this on top. A little dab of milk. Now we're gonna place some strips across the top like so. And then we're going to get the other strips and go the other way. Okay. And now we trim off all the extra bits. This can now go into the oven to finish off cooking. And it'll probably take about 30 to 40 minutes. And then we can serve up. Mmm, it smells so good. Now, treacle tart is ready. It's lovely and golden on top, as you can see. Now, you can leave it to cool if you want for a bit, or get stuck right in straight away. Now, I would serve this, really, just with a dollop of some fresh cream. I hope you really enjoy this recipe. Please do let me know what you think, and I will see you next time. It's so gooey, it's kind of sticking my mouth together. But the sweetness of all the syrup, then you get that burst of tanginess from the lemon. This makes it a winning dessert. Right, I'm off now. Ooh.